So you've looked at the theory behind the scales and you know there's much to learn on that side but Cubase can actually give you a real helping hand and hidden within Cubase are all of the scales that most people would want to use and they're built into the system so that you can actually play them even though you may be playing the wrong notes and I know that might sound a little bit hard to understand at the moment but you're going to see it in practice. Now what I'm going to do to demonstrate this is that I'm going to go for a kind of old bluesy kind of vibe and what I've got is a breakbeat that I've programmed in the Halion 1 and what's happening with this is that I'm running this through a group I'll show you in the mixer let me just bring this down what we've got is the break itself and also the piano are running through into this group which I've called sound old and I've deliberately put two plugins here to make the whole thing sound ancient right to give it an old kind of flavor I've got the reverence which is a reverb I've got an impulse which is a stage impulse and so this is adding a bit of reverb space I'm also then running it through the amp simulator plugin and I've played around with some of the parameters here to give it a nice old sounding flavor so it sounds like a vintage recording let me show you what the break sounds with these plugins and I'm going to take them off so you can see what they sound like without them I'm going to come up to the top click here to bypass the plugins it's a big difference obviously it sounds more contemporary and clean but I want to get it to sound really old. The piano is running through the same channel. So that's what it sounds like. It sounds like an old record, a really ancient record, which is a vibe that I wanted to get. Now, what I want to do is I want to be able to play the blues, but I don't personally know the blues scale off the top of my head. So I'm going to get something to help me along. So on the inspector if you come down to MIDI inserts I'm going to drop down we're going to use the MIDI modifiers plugin now down where my cursor is here it has scale it also has a scale root note so we can choose what we want I'm going to stick it with the C I'm going to come down here to blues 2 now look at this list here this is an amazing list of basically preset scales where all of the notes have been set out so Cubase knows which ones are the right notes to play which ones are the wrong notes and it's not going to let you play the wrong notes basically it's going to play the next correct note in the scale so we're going to go with this blues 2 one which is a really lovely one and basically if I play a note that's outside of the scale it's going to play a correct one so let me just show you here so it instantly sounds bluesy you get some really interesting vibes from this you know it's literally going to correct the notes as we go in so I'm going to improvise I'm going to get a kind of bass signing kind of vibe I'm transposing the keyboard down let's see what happens on top of the beat See, it's been quantized there. And what I'm going to do is going to transpose up here.
Now, obviously, it's sounding a little bit messy, but you can hear that musically that's all sounding correct. And believe me, I was just playing random keys. I had no idea what notes I was playing. I was just trying to get a little bit of a vibe musically, you know, playing things in a certain time. And it's an amazing, amazing thing if you're not musically trained and you want to kind of fake your way through a particular scale. So you can use this as a template for doing things like solos, bass lines, you know, all kinds of manner of musical ingredients in your tracks. 